Hey, what's up you guys? Sharpness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Cork Build-A-Figure Waves Core the God Butcher. Try to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Nice artwork on the side. Very interested in Christian Bale playing this character in the movie. Movie. hope I like it. On the back, you can see a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave, and then we have a spot varnish cracked mule in there. On the top, not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And yeah, they have those inverted images on the side compared to the back right over there. Anyway, slice. We got the core build a figure piece, and then we get the sword right here that has tape on it. Oh, that's a stiff cape. All right. Ooh, not looking too bad. Okay, let's get this back on the rotating base. <laughs> and here's Gore back on the rotating base. And I gotta say, yeah, I do like how this figure looks. There's some nice details going on over here. Uh, we only get one accessory aside from the Build-A-Figure piece. So let's get a closer look at that. And then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So unless I'm mistaken, I believe this is supposed to be All Black, the Necro Sword. I haven't read too many books with gore in it, but I did do some research, and this was granted to him by Null, and it looks like this is going to be our gateway uh, into... Well, I guess we already had Venom appear, but I just wanted to, you know... I was just thinking that the symbiotes and Clintar and everything, this could be our connection to having a Null in the MCU. I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, I love all the details on this thing. It looks awesome. Wish we got more hands with the figure, but still, really liking this sword. <laughs> So I can see why the studio didn't want to cover up Christian Bale's face. Like, why would you hire an artist to draw a stick figure, right? Uh, use his face. And it looks really good from the latest trailer. I like what I'm seeing. Looks really awesome, especially with the extra uh, symbiote goop. Is that what it's supposed to be? But I wish we got an extra head that, you know, had that effect and everything or had that detail added to it because this looks like more like the calm version. Also, the eyes aren't painted all yellow like I'd seen. But the detail that I do see here looks fantastic. And I only get a little bit more forgiving to Hasbro when we see these earlier figures and when they're not accurate to what I'm seeing in the trailer because I know that Disney keeps them in the dark while they're producing the product. So it's a very unfortunate reality of the whole thing. But if leaks didn't get out, you know, maybe we would have more accurate figures, right? But man, the detail here is just incredible. I'm just really impressed with it. And it definitely looks like Christian Bale to me. I like this design. I think it's going to be really badass in the movie. I love all those veins. Oh, so beautifully gross and all the scarring and all that stuff. I love how it looks on the arms right over here. We get the pinless tech making me very happy. I like this robe. Nice amount of dirt and tattered detail to it right there. Looks very cool. Wish you could pull the hood up now that I saw that shot in the movie. And then you can see the upper torso right over here. Kind of remind me of Doctor Doom a little bit. Don't think it's reused though. And then you can see the waistband right there has some dirt on it. And on the front we get some dirt right over there as well. Really like the hands too. You can see the black nails right over there with some white on the fingertips. Then if you lift this up, he's got his crazy man pants or I don't know, these weird, I don't know, psycho ward pants. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Uh, a little bit of texturing right there, but mostly very bland looking, and I guess that's okay because this is supposed to be covering that up anyway. Then you can see we get these beautiful Gortos right over there. They are not beautiful, which is fine with me. And then looking at the bottom of the feet, you can see we get the peg holes. So I gotta say, I mostly like the Gore articulation. No hinge over here, but you can still get them to look up pretty fast far I guess and then he'll look down that much you get side to side motion and you get the head pivoting no real butterfly joints in there at all can't get the shoulders to move outward that much and can move them down all the way rotate a full 360 this whole cape or cloak will move around on you if you'd like and then you get a bicep swivel and then you get the pinless double jointed elbows by the way I did have to heat this up with a hair dryer I guess I didn't have to but I really wanted to because fairly stiff figure you get wrist rotation hinges up and down this one has the horizontal articulation and then you get the waist joint that turns side to side waist pivoting crunches forward a bit at the waist and back that much then the legs luckily we have these cuts on the side of the robe and you can get the legs moving outward that much and he will kick forward that far and back a little bit upper thigh cut you get the pinless double jointed knees and then i love that we get ankle rotation and then the ankles will move down they do move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot and to measure out this gore the god butcher figure you can see that it is standing right at six and a half inches tall then for a size comparison here's gore next to another mcu thor villain we have hella and i was just watching 
Thor Ragnarok the other day, and holy crap, I love that movie. Such a great movie, uh, so much fun, and I cannot wait for Love and Thunder. Then for a Christian Bale comparison, you can see we have Gore next to my Batman Begins Mattel DC figure, and I'm just realizing right now, he's wearing hockey pants. Look at that, right? We... <laughs> He's got the hockey pants right there, right? Uh, he also must have friends. And then here's Gore the God Butcher next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. You can see we have the Mighty Thor. We have King Valkyrie, Ravager Thor, Star-Lord, and Teen Groot. And then here's Gore the God Butcher next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Huh, God Butcher, huh? So what's the best piece, huh? Uh, you like the tri-tip, or do you like the foot, or do you like the- ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, and a big thank you to all these people that support this content via the Patreon and membership. If you're in a position to do so and you want to support this content, check it out, link below. This figure is a lot of fun. I like it a lot. I've heard complaints about it, but I personally don't have many complaints, really. It does fall over a little easier easier than I'd like it to. That's one thing I came across that I didn't mention earlier. But aside from that, I really like the figure a lot. I don't really have many complaints. Again, an interchangeable head showing off some of that symbiote goop. I think it's symbiote goop, right? I'd like to see some of that. That looked really cool in the trailer. Some details with the eyes, you know, that I didn't see until we saw the trailer. And I'm sure the Marvel Hasbro team didn't see it until the trailer either. So there's always that whole discrepancy over there, and it looks like, you know, for the time being, as long as there's leaks, there's nothing that we're going to ever be able to do about that. So, at the price point of around 25 to 28 bucks, I'm going to give this Gore the God Butcher figure a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com, and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I'm Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.